What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Today, we want to talk about Mr. 45, Live 45, Devin White. He has been balling out the past two games. And before even going to Germany, what he had to deal with and that the fact that he still suited up and played at an elite level at such an elite player. Yeah, but there's so much on his on his heart, on his mind, and he balled out. And that's what we want to touch on today. Mr. 45 plus, what did he do and just how much of a difference maker was he? Yeah, this this play here was maybe the play of the game. It, it turned things around, especially for the Bucks. It just gave that momentum back because, you know, previously the Buccaneers turned it over on that that trick play that went bad. And um, but here again, just Devin White using that speed and being able to close so quickly and then making play on the football, knocking the ball out. Um, letting his teammates get it and obviously emotion filled. So really good play there. Uh, and then here we've seen this play before where, you know, he comes in on the blitz. Vita Vea gets those two guys held up and, you know, he's got running lane for, for days right there and just makes the sack. And the reason why we were hard on him two weeks ago, because he had consistent efforts of not the normal Devin White. I mean, Devin White was not running after the play not running sideline to sideline, almost looked like he was loafing at times. This is the stuff that was normal for him on a dime cutting and then upfield in a blink of an eye. There's no decision that can be made by Geno Smith here because literally half a second, he's already on the ground. This is the Devin White we've been grown to see over and over and over again. And that's what we expect. And this is probably the biggest, one of the biggest plays of the game. I mean, you didn't see it during the game, but check this out. We always talk about deception, getting people to move all steps, right? Look at the offense. They shade everyone. They're pulling everyone to the, the opposite side of the field. Devin White has to read and react, correct? Look what he does here. Immediately goes after the running back. Even though the line's pulling one way, you think he would get lost in the decision-making. No. Immediately goes after the running back, but if he's not there, look at this space. Dear Lord, what, what could have happened? It doesn't matter. Devin White was reading his keys and understanding where to be in a lightning pace disgusting disgusting plus break it down a little bit more right and you 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 covered it i mean he's, <laughs> just, he's just uh you know locked in right now being focused and and rightfully so he he earned the nfc player of the week um and he had a hell of a game and this was a huge tackle uh like you were talking about so being able to run it down and, and be there uh again same thing here just playing his assignment. And I think that's been the biggest thing for him, just understanding what he needs to do on every play, making sure he's at his spot. And this is what we talk about playing team defense, filling your gap. So another guy can make the tackle. It doesn't always have to be you to make that play. It's helping your teammates. And I think he does a great job here of doing that. Yeah. This is something I talked to plus about. This is almost like a Devin white play or not Devin white play, the Levante data play. Levante has always been known to take on linemen and just to hold them up and then shed off and get after the tackle after. Or he'll just sacrifice himself for the greater of the team. And he's doing that here. Look at Devin White, not waiting for anything. He knows what gap he has to be in, using Vita Vea, the offensive lineman, as leverage to stay up, keeping his balance, keeping his footing, lunging, forcing this guy. Holy cow, what in the world do I got to do to get into a lane? He can't do it. And then there's his help coming in. I mean, you slow these guys down, there's nowhere to run. Your help defense is going to be there. Devin White's getting that. He's understanding it. His motor's running red hot, and I'm loving it. I mean, there's nothing but good stuff to see with Devin White right now. Right, absolutely. And then here, again, just playing that team defense. He's getting down the line, and again, everyone really is is holding their gaps the right way. You see, you know, the secondary filling those gaps. The big boys up front are penetrating, and then Devin White holding up his guy, making sure he's in the right spot to make this tackle, and he does as he comes downhill. That's a great job by everyone. And another thing to add, our secondary is being amazing in the running game, like phenomenal. Like look at Carlton Davis reading. It's going to be run. Some corners will lay back. Let me just lay back. Don't hurt myself. I mean, I got a couple of receivers. I got to run. No, look at that. Closing off the outside, forcing this guy back inside. Yeah, Devin White ends up cleaning this thing up. But your secondary, your corners doing what they need to do to make sure this run is not going to go outside. Another huge talking point in. They're working both both sides. Carlton Davis, Jamel Dean, all playing great. And then Devin White being the opportunistic guy, getting the tackle. Other than that, guys, Devin White has truly earned good good things the past two weeks. Let's consistently see this moving forward. I think his motor is going full right now, and he, he truly knows what he's going after. 
Other than that, guys, let us know down below what you think of Devin White's game. Like the video if you have, haven't just yet. Subscribe. If you like that new content very frequently. The Bucks are going on a run. Going to run with us. With that said, till the next one.